Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, I'm Allie. Today is Skincare Sunday, so we're going to be doing a little bit of masking, and I'm really excited about it. I'm going to go ahead and throw my hair up. Okay, so I had plans today to like get all cute and do a full makeup look. Um, kind of running out of time since I've been like on a time limit just about every single day lately. Um, but I also just didn't really feel like it. So I was like, plan B. <laughs> Still want to get something filmed today. So then I was intrigued by this because um, if you guys seen my boxy charm this last week, I got this in there and this is from how do you say this can somebody let me know is it 111 is it 111 is it 111 I don't know but I'm just gonna say 111 skin I guess um, but this is their rose gold brightening facial treatment mask it's a five pack but it retails for $135 that's insane I mean each mask would be like what 20 had to do the math for a minute, but $27 per mask, like, man. So it does come with the five, but it literally just looks like a regular like sheet mask. I mean, is there magic in here? It does say that it diminishes the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles, so that's probably, oh, 24 karat gold enhances skin radiance to brighten an even skin tone, reinforces and protects skin barrier function, and rejuvenates and nourishes lackluster skin. I'm all about skin brightening, so I'm really excited to try this out. I'm gonna try to get like all the product on there, really mush it together, get all the product on, and go ahead and open it. It feels like it's like up at the top, so I'm really hoping I don't like rip anything. Maybe push it down a little bit. I'm gonna try this $27 sheet mask. Now, I do believe from reading this uh, from BoxyCharm, it says, the ultimate pre-event mask, this hydrogel formula infuses the skin with radiance boosting ingredients for a glowing complexion. Oh, I thought I had read somewhere that this is like a jelly mask or something. That will make it seem a little bit more bougie, but I don't know. It's like all in like this plastic wrapping. I just kind of want to show you guys. I keep meaning to film a like seven day of sheet mask or something like that like I've done in the past. Um, and time keeps slipping away from me. So, um, hopefully eventually I'll get there. Oh my God, this is so messy. This is what it looks like. I'm pretty sure it is like a gel. So I don't know which side I'm supposed to like take off. I just don't want to rip this. How awful would that be to rip a $27 sheet mask? I feel like it'd be much easier applying it with the clear side than the white side. So I'm trying to get that off, but it's just not budging. So I'm, I think you have to take maybe this side off. Uh, a piece just came off. Okay, it's just the mouth part. I was about to say, are you kidding me? Okay, this is a lot of balancing. Oh, there's like eye things too. Do you just take those off too? This is so weird, like little eye. I guess you could put them on your eyelids. <laughs> Close your eyes. Get every penny worth. Claustrophobia is on another level right now. One way or another, we're gonna get there. I feel like I don't have enough chin for this mask, but I have more than enough forehead for this mask. All right, we are there. I feel like it's just flapping every which way, but we are there. Application's a little tricky. It's kind of, it's almost like one of those like, it's hard to do with nails because you're afraid you're gonna stab it and then rip it. But it's like, I don't know. It's one of those things where I feel like if you went to like a spa and had this done, it would be like so worth it. And they could put it on you and it'd be a lot easier where when you're putting it on yourself, it's a little bit of like a struggle. But I can say it feels really nice on. How long are you supposed to wear it for? 20 minutes. That's a long sheet mask. I guess it's kind of normal. All right, and 
Remove the mask, let the skin absorb the remaining essence by gently patting the skin. So it's just one, you don't have to wash it off or anything. So I'm gonna go ahead and wear this. Finish drinking my lovely vitamin C. And we'll see if there's any like immediate results with this. Maybe my skin will be glowing to the gods after this. All right. So it's been 20 minutes. I'm going to go ahead and take it off. There is a lot of essence still left over, which I really like. Do I think you need $27 sheet mask? No, I feel like there's some really good ones out there. Um, but what I can say is that this does remind me of a lot of like Tatcha sheet mask, which I really, really like. I can't remember exactly how much those cost but I want to say they're pretty bougie and costly for sheet mask as well but you kind of get the same ordeal but I do like that Tatcha's is more of like the seal one so like it seals on it doesn't move around a whole lot where this one kind of does because it's a thicker material but it's still like thin enough and fragile enough that your nail can just like stab right through it um but I overall really like like how much essence is still left over because with any type of mask and sheet mask, if you leave it on enough to where it actually dries out, it will bring more or take the moisture back out of your skin. So I really like all the leftover moisture that this one has. I do think my skin has somewhat of a sheen, but it's kind of hard to say after just like one use. I do think my skin feels really nice. Um, it's pretty tacky still. Um, so maybe it would be like a good one to wear like maybe before bed, before makeup application, something like that. It may be a little irritating to do first thing in the morning and then go about your day because it is pretty tacky feeling. But I feel like if I was going to finish up the rest of my skincare, it wouldn't really be that big of a deal, which you still can regardless, but I do feel like this would be something for like an easy night routine of just washing my face, putting this on, laying in bed, and then, you know, relaxing, watching some Netflix, some Netflix and chill, and then just taking it off, patting it in, calling it a night. Um, easy skincare night, but... Again, I feel like you can still pamper. You can have a pamper sesh with a regular sheet mask. There's a lot of really good ones out there. So um, you can watch past like sheet mask videos that I've done to see some of my favorites. Um, I need to eventually do like a video on like my favorites. I just don't buy a lot of my favorites anymore because of the waist and I have so many other sheet masks from past subscriptions and stuff that I kind of want to tackle through all of them before I'm really buying sheet mask again. But I feel like for every once in a while, it's nice to have a good pick me up sheet mask. I like this one, although I wish I could say it's less waste because it is just this jelly mess. Um, you do have all the little pieces that come with it and it just, it's a one use type of ordeal so it is pretty wasteful at the end of the day. So I don't use them a lot. Um, it is nice that you get five. It's more expensive so you're not going to want to use it all the time. So to get in a skincare or to get in a subscription box, I'm pretty happy with it. I feel like it was a really nice mask. But to go and buy, I feel like it may not be one that I would have to go and repurchase unless I see crazy crazy insane results the more it dries down i do see a sheen and glow to my skin that i really like but i definitely would like to see the overall benefits like over a couple more times but again i don't stay steady enough with them for me to really be able to tell like a huge huge difference so it definitely is more so like just a little pamper sesh type of ordeal let me know what you guys think if you guys got these in your boxy lux and what you think of them let me know um, how much are you willing to spend on sheet mask. <laughs> um, I do like me a good touch of sheet mask and the, the kind that are the gel like this, but they're thinner to where they really seal down. Those are like my favorite. But thank you guys for watching me today. Um, no coffee, just some vitamin C that I'm still over here working on. <laughs> but I hope you guys have a great rest of your weekend. Make this week great, and I will see you guys in tomorrow's video.